In this video, we'll be talking about fire and scintillation. To analyze this, the diamonds should be viewed under intense lighting conditions such as LED or sunlight. Over here, we have three diamonds. Starting on the left is our solar sphere round, which has 91 facets with 10 hearts and arrows. In the middle is our super ideal cut diamond with 57 facets and 8 hearts and arrows. On the right is also a 57 facets, 8 hearts and arrows diamond, but with severe light leakages. I'll first focus on fire. Fire is basically the dispersion of light, which is the rainbow colors you are seeing now on the diamond. The blue, green, red, purple flashes of color are what we call fire. They mostly come from the contrast areas in the diamond. You'll notice that the super ideal cut in the middle has bigger blue areas or arrows, which gives it bigger fire. Whereas the solar sphera has smaller blue areas or arrows, giving it smaller fire. The diamond on the right that has no blue or contrast has very little fire. Do note, fire can also come from the green areas on the ASAT scope. However, this is very minimum as it only appears in certain angles. Next, I'll move on to scintillation. Scintillation is the movement of fire where you see the intense sparkles moving around the diamond. Ideally, a diamond should display many flashes that is spread across the surface of the stone. When we compare the solar sphere and super ideal cut diamond, you'll find that the solar sphere have higher scintillation as it has a faster rate of change in fire. Modified round diamonds such as the solar sphere tends to have higher scintillation due to its higher facets. However, with more facets, it will also result in smaller fire as each facet will be smaller. Therefore, it is always an individual preference of the type of sparkle you prefer. The solar sphere with smaller fire but higher scintillation or the super ideal cut with bigger fire but lower scintillation. Do note, diamonds with poor optic performance such as the one on the right will lack both fire and scintillation. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. In my next video, I'll be talking about pattern scintillation. Thank you for watching.